Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we have listed the top 6 of the best low light cameras in 2022 to help you find the right one for your needs and budget. So let's get started. Let's begin with the Sony Alpha 7S III. With this new A7S III, Sony has made an across-the-board set of upgrades that result in a camera that's the best of its kind, improving its handling and connectivity to its pin-sharp viewfinder and hugely impressive low-light performance across both video and stills. This Sony's Alpha 7S III will be the best hybrid video camera you can buy today. It uses intelligent tracking and on-sensor phase detection covering most of the frame, and its newly developed image sensor and image processing engine can deliver improvements in color reproduction, particularly of skin tones and texture depiction in still images. Buttons and dials are also plentiful on the back of this AF camera. And when it comes to screen, with a 1.44 million dot resolution, it's sharp enough and is also viewable outdoors, even in the brightest environments. Finally, for ports, it includes a full-sized HDMI port, USB-C port, micro USB port, and a headphone jack and 3.5 millimeter microphone jack. Best Micro Four Thirds. Next is Panasonic Lumix GH5S. When it comes to the best Micro Four Thirds camera, you can never go wrong with this Panasonic Lumix GH5S. It is an extremely powerful camera. Its 10.2 megapixel Micro Four Thirds sensor and a significantly higher photoreceptive surface per pixel can deliver an ultra-wide dynamic range. And featuring dual native ISO, you can also get an ultra-sensitive video capture with impressively low noise. Coming to its design, built with a durable magnesium alloy body, it can withstand heavy use out in the field and is also freeze-proof down to negative 10 degrees. While its splash and dust-proof construction with weather sealing on every joint, dial, and button offer additional protection. For screen, it houses a high-resolution 21mm times OLED eye viewfinder that matches up to exactly how you intend to see the image, even under direct sunlight. And finally, for ports, it has TC in or out or synchro terminal, 3.5mm mic jack with line input, 3.5mm headphone jack, 2.5mm remote socket, HDMI type A socket, and a USB-C 3.1 socket. Next is Canon EOS R6. This Canon EOS R6 is another excellent option with great image quality, superb autofocusing, and fast frame rates. By design, it comes roughly in the same size as Canon's mid-range models, with the bonus of a full-frame sensor and smaller accompanying lens than a DSLR. And its dials and buttons are housed on the right-hand side of the camera, making most of them easy to reach with just your thumb. Its full-frame sensor has 20.1 megapixels, which is plenty for most ordinary situations. And utilizing an on-sensor dual-pixel CMOS AF2 focusing, it will give you 6,072 AF points to choose from, covering the majority of the frame. Another plus point for this camera is that it is great for low-light performance, leaving you with usable images even at very high sensitivity settings, such as ISO 20,000. And for the best results, it is recommended to stick ISO to 12,800 and below. Its autofocusing is nothing but just fantastic. Its IAF is capable of picking out animal eyes, even when they're pretty difficult to be seen with a human eye. And finally for the screen, it houses a 3-inch screen that is useful for shooting from all manner of angles and is also helpful for capturing selfies and recording videos of yourself. Next is Fujifilm X-T4. For any serious image maker, having a tool that can be relied upon to perform flawlessly is extremely required. And for this reason, X-T4 comes with a newly developed mechanical shutter that is the fastest and most robust in the history of the X-Series. Not only can it make images at 15 frames per second, but it is also rated for 300,000 actuations too. So let's take a quick look at its design and performance. By design, it has the same classic rectangular design and external exposure controls as previous Fujifilm X-Series cameras. And the 1.62 million pixels very angle touchscreen LCD featured on X-T4 can be adjusted to make it visible from a wide range of positions. With the simple flick of a switch, it can record both professional level DCI 4K 60p and full HD 240p super slow motion video. And along with that, it can also make it possible to record F-Log footage in 10-bit color, 
straight to the card. While its innovative AF-C subject tracking can work best in low light conditions down to negative 6 EV. So, in all, we can say that with the fourth generation X-Trans CMOS 4 sensor, X-Processor 4, a newly developed compact in-body image stabilization system, the new Eterna Bleach Bypass Film Simulation Mode, and much more, this X-T4 can extend your creative limits undoubtedly. If you are here for the best DSLR option, then this Nikon D850 is worth considering. It is Nikon's latest high-resolution full-frame DSLR, featuring a 46-megapixel backside illuminated CMOS sensor. It is also one of the company's fastest-shooting DSLRs. And proving that speed and resolution can indeed coexist, it is also a multimedia DSLR that brings together robust stills capabilities, along with apt movie and time-lapse recording. While I said it has high resolution, it really does have, as it uses a backside illuminated sensor to acquire greater detail and clarity when working in low light conditions. And like its previous D810, this D850 also continues to offer an ISO 64 mode, which will allow it to tolerate more light and bright conditions. Coming to its video capabilities, it offers a 4K UHD using either the full frame area or a DX crop area in 30p, 25, or 24p. While its full HD 1080p video recording comes supported at up to 120p for slow motion playback. Along with that, this D850 also blends both still and video capabilities, with the ability to produce 8K time lapses using its interval timer mode or in camera 4K time lapse movies, with the ability to record up to 9,999 exposures. It also adds a full AF capability, which includes all the hardware like the AF module, the metering sensor, dedicated AF processor, and a full range of AF modes and configuration options that can translate to comparable focus performance combined with high resolution. Lastly, we have the Leisha Q2. This Leisha Q2 is a new premium compact full-frame camera that comes with retro styling, 47.3 megapixel full-frame sensor, and a 28mm f-1.7 prime lens. It is aimed at professional photographers looking for a second camera and travel photographers wanting a small, light, and discreet camera. Featuring program, aperture, shutter, and full manual shooting modes, it will give you full manual controls and a range of scene modes that can be selected in the menus. And when it comes to its screen, its OLED electronic viewfinder has 3.68 million pixels with diopter correction. And this camera can also automatically switch between the EVF and rear screen while holding the camera up to your eye. For controls, it only houses just three buttons on the left of the camera screen. Its function button can be customized, so you can choose what control this accesses when you press it. And by pressing the middle button in the middle of the four-way controller, it can switch the display on the rear screen in between photo mode and video mode. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos.